Greetings fellow humans, my name is Flailbot. Welcome to part two of the run heard around the world. We are, well, hopefully you've just finished the previous episode and are in the midst of this gripping run where we're very magically uh, beating the living daylights out of all the bad guys. I've just took taken a break for a couple of hours. <laughs> So I'm not going to be on my top top game for a little while, but I think we should be able to manage this. So let's see if that's true. Ow. That worked out okay. That really hurts. That is so many guys. There were like five orcs and, and several shadow dudes. Whoa. Talk about not being on your game, man. Me. Oh, come on. Demon guy, huh? We got this. Nope. Okay, we got that. Nice. Whew. Okay, uh, spike stick we don't really need. Toss it back on the floor. Uh, his potion, I don't care about purple potion and orange potion. Okay. I'm just trying to keep my inventory a little organized in case we run into problems. I've had the situation where I am find some nice item and then I just don't have the, the ability to like get it because it's too chaotic and my inventory is full and I don't have the time to grab it and it could be particularly helpful or something. It doesn't happen all the time, just why risk it? Another potion. There's actually some money up there too. I love that we got piercing and ricochet blessing. That is that's the good stuff. Didn't I have an emerald bracer? I did. It's not really gonna get I, I swear I know how to jump. Whoa, whoa. Hup, 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 hup. There we go. Uh, we can upgrade the emerald blaze, emerald blue, blue, emerald bracer, and get a third item slot. Whoa, that got a lot of hit points. Um, then we can have a nice plus, plus like eight melee damage or whatever it is, plus four. I mean, it's not world changing, but it's. It's something, and really we're trying to squeeze every advantage out of every encounter that we can. So, celerity is not great, magnetism is useful, bullseye is going to be terrible with our cross-eye bow, just because we're going to lose the blessing so often. Celerity is use a magic item, gain attack ranged attack speed. Ah, tough call. This not... 100% on how the mechanics of this one work. Like, if I miss one of the three arrows, do I lose the whole benefit, or do I have to miss all the arrows? That is not what I expected to happen there. Whoop. I feel like some of my shine is not as worn off here. My competence shine. Not doing as well as I was. Yeah, so I'm hitting, but I'm not gaining the, the ow, I'm not gaining the, the blessing, the bullseye blessing, because some of my arrows are not hitting. So bullseye not so useful for multiple multiple projectile builds. I keep using that word builds as if that's a real thing. So that sucks. That sucks. And that's only moderately useful. We have a boss fight coming up. I think I'm gonna eat some of these potions. Take a health room too, why not? We've got quite a lot of max health. Uh, it's just that everything does boat loads of damage and, well, this boss is, I dislike this boss a lot. Ow, 56 damage. Okay, come on guy. Okay, we 
we have quite a lot of damage here, so we may be able to not get killed. I find this boss really difficult. He has a lot of hit points, and um, yeah. This way. There we go. It's such an awkward way to fight him. Like, you've got to jump up there, you can't just do normal fighting, and then the, the things come. I think if it was without these red guys, and if it was um, just a little bit less complex, I'm not sure. Like, it's a good boss fight because it's not boring, but it's, uh, it's really difficult. His weakness is just so hard to exploit. You can get these guys to shoot each other, and they do a bunch of damage to each other, which is one of the ways how you can make this more survivable. It can be a little bit hard to get them organized. And for his this attack here, if you stand directly below him, you don't get hit, so that helps a lot. And there we go. Get another round of these things. Now. Oh yeah, and then there's the second half. I forgot about this, actually. <laughs> I usually just die horribly on this particular boss, so... Ow. 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 We're doing okay. Ugh. There's a lot of stuff to keep track of. was a bad idea. This is a tough battle. If you don't have enough range damage or something, then you're just out of luck. Okay, go team. I'm gonna grab this blast ring, actually. Uh, I think one of these might count as a damage, but I'm not sure, uh, as an explosion. And the spike ring is terrible, so this could be the smallest amount of damage bonus ever. A little more, a little more damage again. I don't think that affects my staff, though. Maybe it gets both magic and melee damage bonuses. I've never looked into it. Sometimes it can be hard to figure out the exact out mechanics of some of these things. There's not all that much freely available information, like in the game itself. What's our strategy here? That'll work. I'm gonna ignore those guys. That was close. Uh, so fast. Victory. Okay. All right. Come on, guy. And I want to charge my magic items faster. It's just not worth it to go down there with so many guys. So we're just going to do this. 
There we go. I didn't even notice that guy initially. Let's try this. There we go. That's pretty good. Oh, I forgot we have magic jump. Ow. Shadow guy coming from up top. Whoa. Not optimal decision making there. Ow. Gosh darn. <clears throat> I feel like I'm gonna be making some mistakes. Especially when it comes to those big guys. I sometimes fail to give them appropriate the, the respect they deserve. Ooh, primer blessing. Um They can be very dangerous, and pretending that they're not very dangerous is a bad choice. Because uh, they're all slow when you're like, oh, it'll be fine. I got them, right? It's not the case, though. They are very dangerous. Oh, good job. And there's always the like tendency to say, oh, well, if I'm, I'm already losing, I may as well run in there and give them the old one-two to charge up that there. Fighting power, not a good idea. They will smash your face in. Okay, I would like to upgrade this. Oh no, I didn't get I get it. <laughs> I thought I got an extra magic item slot, which is wrong. Uh, let's see. No potions, right? So let's just go through. When we find a. Versus when we find a upgrade -y shrine, we will concern ourselves with what we're going to do. There's a lot of very busy visuals in the later game, which I think is part of why it becomes more difficult. It's just hard to see what's, what's important. Ugh. I suppose that's part of the difficulty scaling, so that's normal. Mm. It's just interesting to consider that part of the difficulty doesn't come from like your enemies or the sort of mechanics, but just the the way that things are presented. There we go. Is that a shadow pen? That might be kind of cool. Although our shadow items don't really deal damage, so I'm not sure it'll be very useful. Oh gosh. Woo, we're gonna eat that rune. Okay, I'm talking less as as the level is getting more intense. Obsidian ring is gonna be way better than the blast ring. Um, it's gonna be not exactly 10% less damage because of how the scaling works like we talked about earlier, but it's definitely going to be useful. So I'll take it, get killed. 
Is that two shadow penance? Is this... Did, or did it just fall downstairs? It must have just fallen downstairs. I was going to say, I've never seen a super shadow pennant. I don't even know what that does. Although I find that a lot of the items that get super versions that are... Um, like healing items just sort of remain similar. They'll deal more damage, but they don't heal more or something. The uh, Priest's Orb, I think, is the exception. But like the Lifesteal one still primarily, or still does something like 10 health. It just happens to do 10 health and twice as much damage, twice as much baseline damage. Crown Ring upgraded is actually pretty good because it does the stun thing and also plus 10% melee speed, but we don't have it, so we don't have the other one. Hmm. Oops, I was looking at my enemies, not at myself. Hooray! That was a well-reasoned battle. Whoa. Marker is a super cool ranged item. If you hit someone with it, they get a debuff that um, doubles the damage or increases by 50% the damage they take from melee attacks, so it's really nice against bosses that are primarily um, you can hit primarily with melee. This is a poison, I'm pretty sure. That's the item that that monster picked up many moons ago and drank. Ow. <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab the marker. I'm not sure which items we're going to upgrade, so... This upgrade version is only 15% damage resist. This one I think has damage resist and a little bit more melee damage, which might be fun. The Yellowstone Staff seems like a great idea for the upgrade. Because uh, I think it might get some other benefits, not just um, not just more damage. But the bow is just going to deal more damage, which is not really... That hurt a lot. Not really that interesting for us. Oh jeez. Normally, I'm way better at this boss. Where's my cursor? He's a pretty straightforward boss, right? Just like walk back and forth, hit him, hide inside his body when it's death time, and press the heal yourself button. Ow! But if I keep messing this up, this is going to actually be the end of my run, which would be a little bit sad. Immunity tier two, life drain, Chichi beetles. <laughs> yes, glorious. So now we're going to focus more on melee, even more. Not that we weren't focusing on it earlier, just if we have a choice. Gosh, double dang it. Do we already have Charge Blessing rank 2? Is that Charge Blessing again? Maybe we didn't pick Charge Blessing. I'm pretty sure we did. Come on, guys. <laughs> this is 
horrifying. It's like a little death tunnel. Come on. Darn. That went well. What's up? Yay! Alright. Looting, charge tier two, twofold blessing. Uh pfft. Oh my gosh, I really have no idea. Let's take twofold blessing on the off chance that we manage to find the second tier of twofold blessing. Because the second tier of twofold blessing, to the best of my knowledge, gives you a hundred percent chance to shoot an extra arrow. And with the crossfire bow, that means we'll be shooting. Six arrows, which is a lot more arrows than three. Would certainly help our general damage output, especially later, especially for the final boss. I have a shadow ball. Getting a second shadow ball is awesome. That means our primer can be used for something else. Don't throw bombs at me, you jerk. These guys are like just the rudest. Why can't you throw bombs at someone else? Ow. That could have gone worse. Hmm. And you did magic from front. Interesting. I'm not going to pick up that poison. I don't feel the need to poison myself at any point during this game. Someone tell me if you see a how oh, that guy I did not notice that guy. Another band, that's cool. We can upgrade that and a potion we haven't eaten yet. Probably burning, or it's plausibly burning. Oh no! eat this before we die so <laughs> oh my gosh oh, I'm willing to pay a statue to heal me now I'm willing to pay a statue to heal me I'm tempted to go over here and see if there's a altar which there's not so let's just go through this door and be done with this um, we should drink our potions Uh, gray, two range damage, not bad. And I'm gonna drink these battle potions just because we want the health. And a blue potion is minus 10 damage resist. Well, it's not the end of the world. So, hopefully, here we can upgrade uh, a bunch of our items. We potentially have, for upgrading purposes, you are a jerk, sir. Um, <laughs> you, we have the ruby band, the shadow ball, two primers. Um, yeah, just uh, okay. Two primers is good, right? All right, we're gonna buy this. Because we're nearing the end, so we're not going to be able to buy like a bunch of items or something. Hex poison. We probably don't want to drink that. Uh, increasing mass health, not so useful, but compared to nimble or something, it's the best we've got. So I'll take it. Mm, that's the altar we want to not explode. Oh boy. Guys are vicious. Hooray! Viciousness overcome. Ooh, a thing where we can sacrifice life in order to heal. Hold on. Boost runes. We'll save that. We'll use it at the end of the game. 
the boss. Um, oh, that guy was alive. I didn't realize that. Wait. Nah. Poor choices were made. That's a lot of health. Um, let's upgrade a bunch of items first. So that and that. The super monkey ball. Steals life from three enemies. So that is way better, actually, now that I read it. So that's theoretically tripling the amount of healing it does. Okay, melee attacks heal one more. That's pretty good. And now I think for our um, primers, we're going to use... Uh, the melee weapon, probably, why not just our weapons, right? That makes sense. Can't think of anything better. Plus 10% range speed with five arrows and a ring slot. That's terrible. I mean, 10% damage resist is good, but... Yeah. Okay, so... Do we think that the, like... Paying all our money here is a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. Melee attacks will curse targets. With damage based on your magic damage, that's not bad. Whoa, 27 health, sweet. We do a lot of magic damage. Oh, we didn't get them all. That's okay. All right. We still have 70 whole health, guys. This is fine. One thing to remember about that, it steals health from up to three enemies, is it's not that it shoots three balls, it's that it literally steals health from up to three enemies, which means if there's not three enemies, then it doesn't increase the amount you heal. Not that you can do anything about that, so the more you know. Calamity means kills make us attack faster, which is useful. You are you are such dope and do not like you. We're rude people. We're just gonna go through this door. We have no health. This is terrible. You know who shouldn't have done that thing that he did? That's me. I shouldn't have done that thing I did. I should not have gotten that rune. Or that, that blessing. What did I... What was it? I don't even remember. So many blessings. There it was. Melee attacks, curse targets. Could be useful here. We're probably just gonna... Die horribly. Um, boost rune. We have no other consumables that are reasonable, right? This is... Maybe the better idea. 1 to 3 plus 35. No, because the, the bow is going to do 5 arrows, so it's going to do way, way more damage. Oh, this is for shields. I thought this was the surge rune. Okay. Go. Let's... let's do this thing. No, he hit me. <laughs> Ooh, hundred twenty six damage. 126 damage, okay. Well, there we go. Uh, it went pretty well. It was fun. That's actually the first time I've gotten to the final boss with that take double damage thing. So I, well, if I had, if I had to do it all again, I would say that taking that demon rune at the end was a terrible idea. I should have realized I was on the 10th level. There was no way that that blessing was gonna pay off for 200 health uh, over the course of half a level. Um, 
in addition, well, you know, it's only two hits, right? 186 health. <laughs> I have no idea how much lightning does. Probably does like 30 in the normal thing, so we must do 60, let's assume. Oh, I also have the rune for tougher bosses. That's probably why it's also ridiculous. That's the third rune. So for the boss fight, I at least wouldn't have walked up to him. I would have used the bow more because that was doing okay. It's just that the staff, I wish I'd looked at the upgraded staff a little bit more ring slot, but I'm pretty sure it also increases your charge rate. Uh, well, I know what it does 100%. I would think it does it more, but yeah, that's what happens. Oh, well, good times were had. So I have been Flailbot, and this was Cave Blazer's Game Over Time. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time.